Some patients, in addition to drug therapy, will also benefit from the implant of a device called a defibrillator or an ICD for short. The job of the defibrillator is to detect any dangerous heart rhythms should they occur and then deliver the appropriate treatment to get the heart back into a normal rhythm. A lot of my patients have a particular kind of ICD called a subcutaneous ICD implanted. As the name suggests, it's subcutaneous, which means that there are no wires going into the veins and into the heart. All of the device sits just under the skin around the left side of the chest wall. And the advantage of having a device like this is that the wires themselves don't damage the blood vessels or the walls of the heart, which can be very advantageous for some patients. The surgery for having a subcutaneous ICD implanted is usually performed under a full general anaesthetic and the operation takes about 90 minutes to two hours. In the vast majority of patients, it can be done as a day case operation. The majority of patients will have discomfort uh, where the operation has been performed for at least a few weeks afterwards. But it's generally a low risk operation and the main risk from it is that of infection, which is usually less than one in a hundred cases. And we normally reduce the risk of infection by giving intravenous antibiotics one hour before the operation. The subcutaneous defibrillator has its own battery, which normally will last seven to 10 years for most patients. And in the modern era, most of the ICDs come with a smartphone app, which allows data from the device to be transmitted automatically to the hospital at set intervals so that we can actually keep a very close eye on the health of the device and indeed your own heart rhythm.